Don't what? do it. Don't do what? Don't do it. Don't do my bad Irish oh. accent. Oh, oh. We, got some, we got some Irish whiskey here. It's like a box of Lucky Charms with you. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, so here's the ting. <laughs> There's a ting? There's a ting. Here's the ting. So what we have here is the Middleton 2019. And by the way, I apologize for laying it on its side, but it's just such a big, oh, it's just imposing resting. package. It's resting. So my uh, my better half was wait, wait, kind wait. enough. You know what this is? Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing of, yes. of how I'll be laid down later. Yes. Anyway, continue. My, uh, my better half was kind enough to give me this uh, as a birthday gift. Uh, regrettably, I also saw it when I was out mm -hmm. around the corner from us and bought it. And uh, she was giving herself mad props for finding it somewhere and having it delivered and sent and shipped mm -hmm. in the life in the time of COVID. And uh, yeah, I got around the corner. So I brought it home and I was basically pilloried for it. That bottle will now be under the house. And this is the bottle I'm going to bring out so to wait, share. So was that you in the stocks I saw that day? <laughs> I think if, if we could have stocks, I think she'd put me in them. You know, I noticed they also didn't have the courtesy to like put an umbrella over you. So now oh, they no. put you in direct sunlight. No. I would be in the uh, Ant Hill with honey. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, Fire ants? Our, <laughs> exactly. So our, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, Killer hornets? Uh, if there was no. an opportunity... What are, they what are, the, new, what are the two ones? The, 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 the murder the, hornets. The murder hornets. The murder if there was an opportunity to sting uh, me and film it, <laughs> yeah. put them out somewhere, I think, uh -huh. I think okay. it would happen. Anyway, we digress. So uh, our fine, the fine folks at Middleton are part of the Jameson Group. They have, mm -hmm. I think, at the Middleton Distillery. And I've had the Barry Crockett edition. I had a 2017 bottle of this, and now I get the 2019. So you would say you're a fan. Very nice. I am a huge fan of Middleton. I had the old Middleton bottles before they were in the fancy boxes. Mm -hmm. They were just wood boxes then. Yes. And now they bring out well, the very still wood. They bring out well. This is the very rare. So yeah. they have Middleton, and then they have the very rare. And the very rare is a, a little special mm -hmm. double door opening box. It's very mm -hmm. nice. Um, the Barry Crockett edition was, I believe, the first one they rolled out. And since then, uh, in tribute to the master distiller, they now continue to roll it out. And uh, I got the 17. Wendy tried to find me the uh, Benita tried to find the 18. Wait, say that again. Wait, wait, stop. Who tried to find the 18? Benita tried to find the 18, uh -huh. and she was unable to find the 18. Apparently, that is in higher demand. She was able to find another yeah. box of the 17. Go right ahead. Yeah. And the 19. Now, notice, notice, notice the pretty shiny packaging. The doors magnetic sealed. They are yeah. magnetic. One door, they got a little bit of brassers over here with yeah. a little labeling on it. Yeah, very nice. They got the they little swing open. Little copper, copper nice, shape. Nice, what are they? nice what are they hinges. Hinges, there you go. Hinges. Nice hinges. They got a little story here, a little story. Little Tell you a little bit that's out there. And then this is basically the casket that we'll be presented in at some point in our lives. Yes. I do have the 17 so that, you know, when the need arises, I'll keep them both. What I noticed with the 17, the 17 had like a, like a, a magnetic... It, it, uh, it actually had two uh, two holder spots, one at the bottom, one at the top, and they split in half. So okay. you could take out the lower half and the top half, and it would come out. This just has a oh, breather in here work. that lifts out. Okay. And the the original one, as this one is, they're notched in the back, so they stay in almost in so perfect space, so they don't roll, they don't turn, they don't do anything. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just a fantastic presentation, as my pretty pretty shiny packaging holds out. Oh, it's this beautiful. is this is top watch. It's really beautiful. Is. And were, you saved the seventeen. You said I have the seventeen box. Can for, I have this one for for, one, for, for funeral purposes? Yes. And I wouldn't mind having my ashes in this little bottle. And maybe you could take me to the what's that the what's that thing the big the cliffs of more the cliffs of the, the cliffs of more throw you over the side cliffs of more yeah I'm in. Three so I think we should review this. I think the packaging is spectacular. Packaging wise, the bottle beautiful, the labeling beautiful. Love this. The old one, the 17, is an A+. Plus. This one gets an A-, minus because I kind of like the I, little magnet. I, I like the older packaging better. Um, yeah. The bottle itself is around $200. Oof. Which and the is box is three. No age statement. It's just called Very Rare, but the, the bottle is around $200. Uh, we've had other bottles that were pricey. Uh -huh. This is some of the finest packaging you get for $200. Oh, absolutely. Bucks. Um, I don't know if... That's you know 50 bucks for the packaging. <laughs> the rest is for the whiskey. Oh. But it's, it's awfully nice packaging. And again, if you were getting this as a gift or giving this as a gift to someone who's a big fan of Irish whiskey, this is what you'd call a presentation box. I, I know that nice. um, Whiskey Cast Wife is a big fan. Is she not? She's a big fan. She's a big fan of Irish whiskey, yeah. She's a big fan yeah. of the Middleton. And I could see why. This is a very nice whiskey. It is. And uh, like I said, presentation-wise, cheers. Salud. Can't get any better.
Yeah. On the nose, it is quite nice. It's a little, it's a little got a little sting to it. And like you said, it does smell very vapory. It smells hotter than the forty percent. Um, a lot of Irish whiskey, I find, you get a lot of like grassy heather notes. Yeah. On this, you don't get that right away. No, you don't you get, get a little, get bit, a little more, bit more. A little, it, it's a little more scotchy, if that's a thing. You know what I got? You know, honestly, you know, just before you started talking about, I got a little ginger. Yeah. Okay. Like a little fresh ginger. Yeah. But it's it's very nice. It really is. I've already dipped into it a bit. It's it's I get the notes of ginger, a little a little grainy like a little cereal grain kind of thing. Like I don't know if this is all is this pot still? Yeah, I'm gonna they probably need the same all, way. And is it, it's triple it's probably triple still like is everything. Is it malted barley or do they do like they do a combination of malted and unmalted? Only? I think it's all malted. Okay, I no, think I it's all know. malted. I'm not sure. They triple the still. They bring it up to 100 percent, then bring it back down to once okay. they want a bottle of that. Yeah. And then they just cask it and then dip through the casks and come up with what they want to put aside as extra special. And much like, like an Abuna or some of the car chases, you know, what mm -hmm. we did this year, it's, it's gonna not going to taste like next year, the yeah. year after that, year after that. You know, they'll keep a similar profile together, but it'll all taste a little bit different. I still can't get past this, like, this ginger note, which is, which is fine because I like that, you know, like a ginger beer. Or... And I'm getting a little bit of the wood, a little grainy, like mm -hmm. wood grain, not yeah. um, cereal grains. But it's, on the nose, it's very nice, very pleasant. Not your typical, you know, bottle of Jameson, bottle no, of Bush no, Rose, it's got a little, it's got a little more body to it. It's yeah. got a little more body to it than a, than a than a regular Jameson does. There's some like fruits, you know, some maybe some apricots or maybe some jam. A little bit of jam. A little, little marmalade. A little marmalade. Are you uh, Paddington? Are you making some marmalade over there? Yes. I'm going in, and it's good. A marmalade sandwich. It's good. Just More don't, accents. Just don't give me a hard <laughs> stare. It's it's uh, it's it's awfully good. I went in, and I enjoyed it, and it is nice. Just nice. It's the old sod. Reminds me of home. Although I live over there. I don't know why it reminds me of home. You know, for forty percent, it's got a nice little, it's got a kick, little to kick to it. Yeah. It's got a nice finish. It's mm -hmm. not overly sweet up front. It's got a little of that figgy, a lot of not figgy, uh, sticky, a little of that fruity kind of flavor mm. up front. It's not very grassy, no. like some Irish whiskey. No, it's not soft and gentle. So you don't it's, get that. It's not quite. It doesn't quite have the punch of a red breast. Yeah, but I think it's somewhere in between a red breast and a Jameson. Almost like like that that spice. You know, like if you ever have like raw honey, like yeah. raw honey, yeah. it is spicy. Yeah. It does have a it does have a bit a bit to it. And again, I'm getting that ginger again. And it's a little velvety. It's not real thick. No. But it's thick enough. And it yeah, has, it's not watery, but it's not oily either, though. And it has a very nice finish. It's not a burny finish. It's just flavorful. Where you don't get like that hot burn of alcohol. It's just very nice. The flavors are pretty much up front, though. I don't think it's. I don't think it goes deep. A little drying in the back end too. Mm. It doesn't go deep. There's a little bit of dryness. What, did you think you need a sherry cask at all in this? A quick check to the interwebs. Yeah. That it is matured in 12 to 20 year casks and they're ex bourbon American oak barrels. Huh. Interesting. So yeah. while it has um, maybe a little bit of a darker color to it, you, know, you can see color over here, mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's more from the char and the bourbon barrels than, yeah. than uh, you know, it has almost a sherry quality to it. Yeah. There's, there's no sherry involved. Yeah, but it's very fruity. You know, it's it's very very fruity. My only complaint, though, I don't know. If, well, the packaging elevates it to what you paid for, but I think it's a little bit overpriced. Well, the issue you always get to is it's a non-age statement, right? So it's twelve to twenty years. Mm -hmm. Probably a lot of that's twelve, right? So would you spend two hundred dollars for a twelve-year-old whiskey? Wow, well, it depends on what it is. Yeah, but it's yeah. not a it's not an automatic yes. Yeah. It becomes a, eh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's... With, with the packaging and the flavor whiskey and the fact that I really like Irish whiskey, mm -hmm. this is a great gift for me. This might not be a great gift for somebody else. Now, right. if you're a huge fan of Irish whiskey, by all means, this would be something, you know, mark you know, this on your list. If you're a big fan of scotch, you probably wouldn't think this is worth it. You'd probably rather have a 20-year-old Balvenie or something instead. But the more I'm drinking it, I think a lot more, like... Nuance and stuff is coming out. You know, it's just a real solid whiskey. Uh, I had the seventeen; it was really great. I had the, I think the Barry Crockett edition mm -hmm. I had was a fourteen. That was really great. Like there's some vanilla, almost got like ginger snaps. Yes. 
maybe um, what's it called? One of the other ones. Uh, yeah, ginger snaps. I get, I get the ginger snaps and vanilla wafers. A little, bit a little, little vanilla wafer to it. Yeah, no, it's good. It's biscuity. It's very nice. But it's, it's nice. a very nice whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's very vel velvety smooth on the mouthfeel. And if you if you like Jameson, if you like Redbreast, if you like Irish whiskey, you'll like this a lot. Yeah. If you're a person who doesn't like Irish whiskey, this is not something. You'll and now change. I'm getting a little like cereal grain kind of thing. Yep. And the thing that you don't really get is, uh, I find you get a lot of like grassy, heathery flavors in a lot of Irish whiskey. Yeah, not this. And you don't get this at all. No, it's, not so it's much. It's kind of rounded it out with the time in the barrel, yeah. and it's just really a pleasant whiskey. Yeah. It's really enjoyable. Yeah, it's good. It's very very nice. Um, I would. I still. I think I still like red breast a little better. The twelve, the fifteen, the twelve, the, the 12. fifteen, the cast. Any red breast at all? <laughs> I just. I just like red breast for a little. I like yeah. it a little bit yeah. better. Um, but this is very good, and I would go. Yeah. I would go eighty nine, ninety. Yeah, I'd say this. To me, this is an A. But yeah. But, but again, I'm a huge fan of no, Irish whiskey to begin yeah, with, yeah. and and uh, I'm, I'm a little bit biased. I'm not turning this down, and I think but, we may have kicked off a new year or two with this. We, on many we, occasions, we have, we have brought it out of the big box. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's a, again, it's not something you're going to drink every day because of the price, right? Unless suddenly our incomes increase dramatically, right? But it's it's certainly something to to sample mm -hmm. and something to kick off a special event to do something right. out of the ordinary. It's, yep. a, it's just a great whiskey. You know, I do remember like years ago, not this one, but the other one, um, just the, the regular Middleton, right? When it first came out, like you know, I only knew Irish whiskey. I only knew like Powers and and Jameson and Bushmills. Someone introduced me to Red Breast and they had me try this and they were really, really fantastic. But, you know, that was 15 years ago. Yeah, and it's night and day. Yeah, the, you know, the, you know the, the landscape has changed. And, and you get that from pretty much any, if you went to any scotch and you tried like right. a 12-year-old versus mm -hmm. an 18-year-old, yeah. they're just totally different. Yep. They're just, you know, it, it's just a real solid whiskey. It is. It's very I good. really enjoy it. It's very good. So again, sir, once again, thank you for sharing. And. Uh, when it's empty, cheers. cheers. Yeah. When it's empty, I'll be sure to uh, make sure we set it aside for the funeral pyres. Thanks. Sooner rather than later, <laughs> maybe. Well, well, we'll see. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's out of my hands. <laughs> exactly, it really is. So, anyway, thank you, sir. Cheers. Salute.